as you can see a lot of disdain disappointment a lot of uh you you, you don't sound very impressed about what is happening around us to the extent that uh even in, ex in addressing me you, for a minute, you thought I was part of the government. But I am not. I'm just here as a, a broadcaster doing my job. But now, with what you've said and uh, how you've analyzed the current Lagos, there's so much we can talk about from the, the new buildings and, and all that and the monorail. And we'll come back to you on transportation later on. But, you know, there's this belief that you cannot change, uh, you cannot cause a change from outside the bubble. You need to be within the bubble for you to uh, effect that change. And from what we've gathered about you and even what we've discussed before the program, you've been in politics for a long time, from the days of NSQ Netcom. You served partly under Fasciola, Governor Fasciola. You were, and at different times you've had positions like appointed a member of the Tribunal of Inquiry into the civil disturbance of Iko Yobali in DLCDA and Ekwe, were chairman legal subcommittee for the technical committee for the enabling uh, legislation and the Lagos uh, Habitat 2011 project. You were also chairman legal state committee of planning, regulation and building control. And of course, I forgot to say that you're a chief. You are the uh, Jagumolu of Ibeshelan. Am I right on that? Absolutely. Great. So with all this that you've done and the access you've had to power, if we're talking about uh, the errors and the things that have gone wrong in Lagos, is it right to count you amongst those that have disappointed Lagosians since you've been part of that system at different times? For me, I'll, I'll say to you, you are a good man and you are a great guy. And you have done so because you have just given me an opportunity to address certain issues. Hmm. Me, I've not been in politics. There's okay. a difference from being in politics and, and being in government. Mm -hmm. I have been in government, yeah. but not in politics. But yeah, I, I know that. But you know, you are doing politics now to get into government where you've been before. Look at it, if you can just give me time to talk. Me, I'm the <laughs> governorship candidate. I, 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 know, I just want to understand. No, you yeah. have done very well, so that I don't bring you down from the top to the bottom. <laughs> the truth of the matter is this. Mm. You spoke about habitat. You spoke about yeah. drafting legislation. Yes. You spoke about the physical planning mm -hmm. issue. You also spoke extensively about who I am. And mm -hmm. I thank you for those words. I'm also the Jagumulu of Ibishi line. Yeah. That means I'm also a traditional title holder in this state. Mm -hmm. I thank you, believe me sincerely. For me, I know exactly what it is to put up a building. What it means. And I also know. That by the law in Lagos State, when you build anything above six story building, you must insure. And I also know that if you are building a story building from a certain threshold, you must inspect. There are people who should go there to verify that the building is okay before you continue. Mm. So one day I woke up in this state. One day, 21 story building came crashing down. 21. In Ikoi, it does not happen anywhere on earth that 21 stories were caught. And the facts that emanated from there shows that the government officials were culpable. They did not do what they had to do. They put a stop order on the building. The builder did not stop and it continued. The, they stopped the work. They reopened the building. The building came crashing down. Deputy governor for Lagos State, eh? he came out and said they approved 16 stories. The man who was in charge said we approved 21 all sorts of discordant information from government. As we were about to recover from that down the road in Victoria Island, a five-story building came coming down. Soon after, the Butemita collapsed building. You go again to a place around Oniru. Seven stories came down. Our state of aquatic splendor and city of excellence has now end for itself an acronym of a state of collapsing building. All under the watch of Mr. Babajide Sonwodu and his executive. For me, when they leave government and the immunity is stripped from this guy, we are considering the possibility of that we are going to sue him. Mm. We're taking before the citizens' national... action. Of course, citizens' action that we have a governor who doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. How do you sit down and nobody has been prosecuted? They keep doing this window dressing. You go home, you sit down in your house, and then I will come down. This is not government. When you talk about proactivity of government, you talk it is the capacity of the man who is in charge of government to take responsibility. 
when this happened up to yesterday, this governor has not found it necessary to address the people and to give some kind of apology. We are still waiting for him. No what? Remember the answers also happened during this time? Remember the answers happened when some people were shot dead? Innocent people who were just there protesting their rights. And he asked me if I should go to the place where they can shoot me dead. No, I have a family. 